is very interesting, this phenomena of neonatal pattern baldness. And this is also that paper by Hamilton, 1951. He says, the scalp in the first two years of postnatal life soon after birth and marked alopecia develops in many babies in the same areas that soon become bald in adult men. That is the frontoparietal and frontal areas and even over the tonsure. This process continues for weeks or months and occurs in both sexes. Uh, while hairs are still being lost, new hairs appear on the surface of the scalp and by the end of the first or second year, most children have a completely hairy scalp of type 1 or type uh, 1A. And uh, children, when they're born, have uh, some have like radically elevated prolactin levels. And then I've, uh, I, I'm still kind of sorting through all the data on this. But the infants can be very cold and they, they give them like caps for their heads. And so, again, I think this falls in line with the bioenergetic model. Um, and yeah, and how is this explainable through a genetic androgen model? Like the neonatal, like you have to explain all incidences of baldness, I feel like. And so, so again, that, that's what attracted me to Ray because I feel like he has a model that actually explains things rather than um, just kind of skirting uh, by the evidence.